toe pivots. Now you will notice that I have got my toe stops in tonight and that is because these are easier to learn in toe stops. But for my jam plugged friends, you can absolutely do these in a jam plug, but you're better off using one that feels a little bit more grippy and a bit sticky than one that's like this. This is very shiny. And because you're gonna press down into this jam plug, it's better to have a sticky one because you don't want it to slip out from underneath you. Let's go on with it. So for most skaters, when you think of the word pivot, you think of this. But this is a type of pivot. If you think about a compass, we're pivoting around a central point. So this is why it's good to have your toe stop because we are gonna push down into the floor. So this is where most of my weight is gonna be. Now the other foot is gonna be doing an inside edge. So if you've got control of that inside, it's gonna really, really help you. So all I'm gonna do is put more weight on this foot, toe stop down. Now. This is easier if you lift the front truck off the ground. So I can pivot like this, but if I go forward further, so I'm just on the toe stop, that is gonna give me a better point in which to rotate around. Then all I'm gonna do is push down into this inside edge and do a one foot bubble like that. Now what you need to do is let this foot rotate underneath you at the same time because the momentum from this one foot bubble is going to make you go round. So what you can do is keep doing your one foot bubble and keep pumping like this. So you see how this leg, when I push down into that bubble, I'm bending this leg and then I come up and that's helping me with my momentum. So push with this leg and go down, come up down, up. Now I'm also taking my upper body. So this is rotating as well. This shoulder is pushing the rotation. So straight away, I'm here. So this is my leading shoulder. So the idea of this is once you start to get a little bit more confident, you can make your inside edge longer, more power. So I'm here and I'm gonna go round. When I do that, you see I'm staying low to keep that power keeping me going. And I'm pushing down into the floor on this toe stop. Now, as I start to slow down, I'll come up and that's squeezing that last little bit of momentum out of my power here. So I'm getting slower and I'll come up. When this really gets up to speed, you want as little contact area of your toe stop on the ground as possible. So what I do is I actually lean further forward. So I've just got that very edge of my toe stop in and that means I spin and spin and spin. It's the momentum from this foot and the shoulder pushing. I just keep going. Obviously this one can be done on either foot, here or here, but on both of the feet, I'm going forwards. But you can also do it where you're traveling backwards like this. Now this is essentially the same. So I'm putting the foot down and I'm gonna do a bubble. So this shoulder is gonna push me and I'm gonna go backwards. So I'm just doing my bubbles and I'm gonna push my weight onto this toe stop. Now, if you feel a little bit wobbly on this one, you can leave the wheels in as well to give you that little bit of a bigger point to lean on. It means you're gonna just spin that little bit slower and it makes it a little bit easier to control at first. with the shoulder 
And when I feel a little bit more comfortable, I'm gonna rock onto just the toe stop here. And just do my pumping exactly the same until you feel more confident that you can get a full rotation on one push. And it's exactly the same, I'm pushing down into this toe stop, going as far forward as I can to get that rotation. This is a great move because you can use it to help you build up to other rhythm moves. A really nice way to practice these is to practice one foot, then the other. So you're doing one bubble, then the other bubble. So I'm gonna do one, two. So it's one, two. One, two. Shoulder, 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 shoulder. And then what you can do is build up to the point where you can put, rather than put the toe stop on, you put the inside wheel of the other foot. So I'm gonna do that, there. Still using this inside edge, bending, it's very similar technique, but you'll notice that this looks very much like the C-step, because it's that tight inside edge. So this is a great way to build up to some of those slightly more difficult rhythm moves. So unsurprisingly, as there's a toe pivot, there is also a heel pivot, but that is a whole nother video. I'm Katie, but she's Katie, and I'll see you next time. Bye.